Well, my best deal-making success story is, uh, you know, when, when I partnered up with two of my business colleagues, Tim Klepper and Greg Eisenberg, and we got involved in, with a private equity company in Gridiron Capital. We chose Gridiron Capital, uh, you know, to be our private equity company in selling my business, Leaf Filter. And, um, you know, again, we sold it for more than a nine-figure deal. And, uh, you know, and so even since then, we've more than doubled our, uh, our business. And, um, and so it's so far, it's been a year and a half. And we've, again, we've more than doubled the value of the company. And so that's a, that's my best success story by far. If you're looking to sell your business, one of, some of the things that you can do to make your business attractive to other buyers is professionalize your business. You know, one of the things that I did, I mean, honestly, a lot of people don't know this, but I had, you know, I was, I was basically doing the books for my company for several years. I don't have a, you know, I'm not a CFO. I don't have a financial background. I had to learn how to do QuickBooks, you know, online. And so uh, as my company, Leaf Filter, got bigger, I had to hire somebody to run our, our books. So I had my dad do it, okay? And he doesn't have a background either in finance. He had to go to night school at the University of Akron to learn QuickBooks. So he didn't know either. So for, for nine years, we ran what became a $100 million company without a CFO or professional, like, you know, help that way. So one of the things that I did was hired a CFO, a professional CFO, uh, Larry Napolitan, who's our current CFO, um, just to really professionalize and bring everything up to, you know, to being professional in order to sell the business. So that would be my advice to people is to get, just to get your, get your stuff tight, so to speak, um, and professionalize whatever you need to. Most of these, most companies have grown from, I don't want to say like a mon pa shop, but you know, they're, they're small business entrepreneurs. They're good at marketing, good at selling and doing things like that. So if, if people are really serious about going to that next level, you know, find out what your weaknesses are, you know, handle those. And then, um, you know, and then you can take your business to market. You know, when you're, when you are selling your business, you're really de-risking yourself. You know, and you're making a decision to go into, you know, to, to go into that, um, to go into that world, so to speak. I mean, somebody's investing in your company in order to grow the company. And so it is important that you choose the right partner, but you have to realize as well that you're giving up, you're giving up some, you know, some management or some, um, you know, some control. And uh, that's just the way it is because they are, you know, they are in control. Typically the private equity company or whoever's investing in your company, is, they're smart business people. They know how to run companies as well. So um, that's all I would say, not so much as advice, but just that's the reality of the situation is, uh, you know, if you are selling equity in your company, especially the majority of the equity in your company, you're definitely giving up control. And so you just have to choose the right partner and knowing that, um, you know, that's somebody you want to work with or work for. So the way I balance having my own company, you know, that I'm running and, uh, you know, and other companies and, and deals that we've made and, and companies that we've invested in and, and how I study and how I learn is, you know, I, I have I, my full-time job and then almost, I don't want to say my hobby uh, would be deal making and other companies, but I'm passionate about it. I'm an entrepreneur at heart. And, uh, and I love building businesses and I love building companies. So it's almost like a, like a side, you know, when some people go and they play golf or, you know, other people play video games or they just do, you know, they go on bike rides. Like I do business deals. I like business. So that's what I'll study. Even on Sundays, I'll, that's what I watch on, uh, I watch educational videos on business and uh, in private equity and just learning as much as I can. And, you know, even if I come across a deal and, you know, I'll read their, I'll read the financials or I'll read the reports on, on the companies or I'll study up on the industry, that stuff's fun to me and I just love it. And so, I mean, it's more of a hobby. You're gonna be good at things that you enjoy doing and, uh, and I enjoy doing that. So we're gonna be good at it.